We've been so lucky to get incredible department heads who share the same vision as us in terms of authenticity. Each episode is nearly like a feature film. It's a big scope what we tried to, to tell. Bina Daigler's incredible costumes, most of them handmade, made in the same way they would be at the time. It was really important that the show look and feel like it was made in the time versus feeling retro. We did a lot, a lot of research, and I have in my office, it has very tall walls, and it's all over with the photos. All the actresses, they love each other when they come for a fitting. They say, can we go to your room and just have another look? Because it's so visual. Right, to the ER. Yes, the ER. Bina, I love her. She's incredibly imaginative, completely tuned into detail. We have 90% female cast. They have a lot of changes. It was just fun that we could create so many costumes. Bina has done an amazing job. You know, there'll be scenes with 100 background actors and everybody looks authentic. Like, everybody looks great. It's really incredible to see. I have these two different worlds that I wanted to create and that I wanted to make it visual, what the difference is between the feminists, the pros, and the antis. You look absolutely stunning. I kept Phyllis and her friends in pastel. Mm -hmm. I'd like to give you this. Oh. Our feminists, they were more colorful and more like in brown and darker colors with more pattern. I did it because I was the only one who had the audacity to shake this system up. What I'm wearing right now is actually one, the exact fabric and costume that Shirley wore. Bina was very collaborative. She was incredibly prepared with so many images and ideas and textures and things. And it was a combination of sort of finding things that would flatter me and honoring the Gloria's uh, style. I love all Gloria's outfits because she was so stylish. It was just amazing to dress Rose Byrne, and she transforms immediately into Gloria's dynam. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Phyllis Schlafly, she had her very own particular style, and to be able to transform Kate Blanchett into Phyllis Schlafly was just an amazing creative collaboration. I have always maintained that women today have true freedom of choice. Bina Diagla, who did the costumes, worked really hard to make the silhouette of Phyllis, which could seem quite impenetrable, actually live and breathe. Summer. Summer. So when we turn, look this way, it's a two-shot, right? There's one very special dress that the real Phyllis Schlafly was very beautiful evening gown with very special sleeves. And we always were wondering, where does suddenly this beautiful dress come? And one night, I don't know, I was looking for a vintage dress online, and suddenly I think, oh my god. And so I ordered it. It is exactly that dress. It looks really amazing, like from a designer. And it was just there, the whole thing exactly the dress and it's so special. They say that women are like tea bags. You don't know their strength until they get into hot water. We go step by step from episode to episode to make the progress. It happens with all these women. They get more political. They have more power. And that reflected really in their own wardrobe. You can see it to make that happen with the clothes. It's just amazing. 